Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. Today is Friday, April 1st, 2016, and there is no April Fool's Day joke. I just got out of Radio Row. Remember last year I did Radio Row and we talked about that? So it's one of my favorite days of the year. It's the Friday before WrestleMania, and at 6 a.m. you start doing a whole series of radio stations and satellite feeds and international media. We call it Radio Row. It's really Media Row, but we call it Radio Row because a lot of stupid people name these things. So here we are two days away from WrestleMania and the questions have been getting stupider and stupider and stupider. The Heyman Hustle! When you ask me a direct question, and I and it's a yes or no question, and I give you a yes or no answer, in this case the answer is no, why do you ask me the same question, although under a different premise? So this is, be, this is the equivalent of saying, hey, how are you today? Good. Really? Yes. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Seriously? Yeah. So you're okay? Yes. Good? Uh-huh. Wow. Really? Yes. You asked me a question. I gave you an answer. And now you want me to clarify that that's the answer that I mean because I didn't have to embellish on the answer. And obviously, I, maybe I didn't give you an answer that you thought was going to come out of my mouth. What am I supposed to do? Boo hoo hoo. The Undertaker is no longer undefeated at WrestleMania. What? Why? You know, sir, you, the, the premise of your question is that I'm the heartless one. I'm the one in this conversation that lacks compassion. And your shock over my lack of compassion for The Undertaker was shining through with the fact that you followed up your interrogatory with a really, are you sure, or I can't believe that you said that. But let me ask you a question, sir, okay. about your lack of compassion. How do you feel about the 21 other victims in that streak? Don't you feel for the men that went up against The Undertaker and didn't conquer the streak? Don't you feel for the 21 yeah. that, that are the, that come, you know, a lot of people had to get hurt. A lot of people got beat up. A lot of people yeah, right. lost at WrestleMania for that number to become 21. Sure. Where's your compassion for those 21 in the 21 and one? And why must you pick on me the one behind the one in 21 and one. The, we, we have the smaller number, but the smaller number is greater than the bigger number because it's the, it's the bigger victory. But here you are with a lack of any feeling, any emotion, any compassion, any sympathy, any empathy for the 21 that compensated, that, 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 that composed the 21 and 21 and one, and yet you want to burn my ass over the fact that my guy <laughs> is the one. It's hysterical to me, this entire premise that I'm the one that lacks compassion when you're the one sitting there, a heartless son of a bitch, about the 21 that lost! Uh, last question. For crying out loud, man! Do you, do, you, do you go to church and beg forgiveness for this? I mean, do you seriously, when you, on the day that you arrive at the pearly gates, will you not sit there and say, I have lacked compassion for those who were victimized, and then I went to the one guy that victimized the victimizer, and I tried to bust his ass on it. Last question. Um. Son of a <laughs> bitch! The Heyman Hustle! What's up, you guys? It's me, Hannah Townsend. If you don't know who I am, it means that you haven't watched the Yahoo Sports video, man. Come on! Bad vibes, man. I'm not feeling that. You know how you can make it up to me? This is what you can do. You can click down below, and you're going to actually have a link so that you can watch the video full throttle. You can see what we're doing behind the scenes and getting ready for WrestleMania. Ah, it's good vibes, it's amazing, it's on point, that's how we roll. I ain't a killer, but don't push me. Revenge is like the sweetest joy next to getting pussy. Picture paragraphs unloaded, wise words being quoted. Me the weakness in the rap game, so did. What you can do is you can send me good vibes. You can click down below and subscribe. And you are, we're on the hustle, you already know, because Brock Lesnar will beat every motherfucking foe. Peace.